The overall goal of this experiment is to detect midline shifts from brain CT images of patients with traumatic brain injury and thereby estimate intracranial pressure within the brain. In this project, we developed a computational method to analyze the CT images and predict the intracranial pressure, or ICP. The incentive for this project is the fact that in many cases where people have head injuries, there is always the suspicion that uh, ICP, or intracranial pressure, might be elevated. So with CT, we can evaluate uh, swelling in the brain, we can evaluate uh, hematomas, we can evaluate uh, midline shifts or, uh, or transtentorial uh, shifts of the brain, but what we can't, cannot predict reliably is what effect that has on the intracranial pressure, other than in general it raises it to, a, uh, to some degree. And this is where the computational methods that we've been working on uh, are, are helpful. It can predict with a reasonable level of accuracy exactly what effects the, the anatomic changes have on the intracranial pressure. This schematic diagram presents the overview of the methodology employed in this research. Computerized axial tomography is more commonly known by its abbreviated names CT scan or CAT scan. The CT scans are developed from a large series of two-dimensional x-ray images taken around a single axis of rotation. In the first step of our approach, the CT scans of the patients with traumatic brain injuries, or TBI, are acquired and analyzed to detect the midline shift. The next step includes extraction and analysis of other features such as various texture information of CT images and blood amount estimation. Our approach also uses the extractive features as well as other demographic information to predict ICP. Machine learning algorithms are used to model the relationship between the ICP and